Time to talk money now. One of the resolution in the report we watched earlier on the breakfast wants more money. This year, the president has signed the 2021 appropriation bill into law. Uh, he did it just uh, yesterday, so it's a brand new year with a brand new budget. I want to look at, you know, issues around that. And we're joined this morning by economist Dr. Austin Anyogu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. The, the signing uh, maintains the momentum of January to December um, cycle, but is that all there is to it? Well, um, that's not all there is to it. I've always said that budget is just a plan, an intention or purpose, uh, whether it is um, April to March or it's January to December. That is just uh, time uh, horizon that um, a government has been set for itself. Well, first and foremost, I think um, there begins to be seriousness in terms of uh, signing budgets to law. Uh, in the past, you find budget being uh, stagnated for several months and then um, implementation becomes a very difficult thing. So I can say the government has done well by maintaining the status quo of um, January, the January to December. But that is not all about what budget entails. Budget ha has more um, issues that borders on development, borders on infrastructure, borders on the, the, the growth of the economy, borders on the, the welfare of the people, borders on the implementation of the capital expenditure, borders on the current expansion, a whole lot. Okay. Uh, debt servicing and whole lot. So the fact that um, the maintenance of January to December is welcome, but um, there's more to it. Okay, um, um, let's look at some of uh, some other issues. It, uh, one has to do with the concerns being raised. I, I want you to uh, speak on it. The 2020 budget has been moved to the um, first quarter of 2021 that we're now in, and then we have a new budget. How does this work? Could you explain that to us? Yes, um, like I, I, I started, uh, budget is not um, sacrosanct. It is actually an intention or purpose of government. So a whole lot of things may not have been implemented um, last year because of the pandemic. Remember, um, the, go but the, uh, the government had to rewrite the budget with so much reality on ground. So uh, we, we, we have a new budget now, which has been signed to law, and that's what we should concern ourselves with. And those new budgets is actually um, what we should bother ourselves with. And the concerns is uh, so many indications in the budget. Uh, what, what, what are my concerns? My main concern is the growing budget deficit, you know, and um, it's rising on a yearly basis, and um, it simply shows that um, the economy is not really uh, focusing on recovery. But well, uh, we, 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 we will talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of the budget if we have enough time um, on the show. But I, I want to ask you to maybe rack through your mind, if, or just rake through your mind rather, if there's been um, ever a time in our history where we had uh, budgets overlap like this, were there any consequences to the implementation of the incumbent, so to speak? Oh, yes, there are consequences. There are consequences because it simply means that um, you did not meet your target. And then um, a whole lot of things will be, will, will be hanging in terms of uh, implementation. But however, we are, lucky enough, we are still in the same administration. We are still in the same government. So uh, such overlapping may not be very visible in terms of uh, a lack of performance of the last budget. But however, we, we, you agree with me that... Um, uh, government is a continuum, and um, government is not um, sacrosanct. For example, you could have projected uh, security with one billion or one trillion, and then we saw that increases. So it then means that there must there must be need for to adjust in that area. So budget will continue to shift in line with the reality that you have been faced. In as much as you have planned so much. To, uh, to carry out this particular, I mean, a line of um, activities. 
So budget is actually flexible in nature, uh, but it's just a guide. It's just a guide to, to, to shape on those who make decisions for this country on how to go about um, decisions, you know, and that is what budget is about. It's not about um, carryovers. It's not like when we're in school, we talk about carryovers. It's actually um, a continuation. A project that could not be completed this year has the opportunity of being completed this year, you know, and okay. then there could have been several votes, you know, for that, that project. So it's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a going concern. Let me just put it that way. Uh, All right, then you, you were referencing some of the concerns you have with the budget. Could you speak in specific terms, areas that, you know, you have issues with and the areas that you see strength in this new budget? Okay. Um, well, let me start with them. Um, let, let me start with strength. When we talk about strength, it simply means that I am happy in some areas of the budget. And um, that means that the capital expenditure will actually um, create an enabling environment for economic growth, development, and infrastructure that will actually well, that will help businesses to strive in 2000 and, um, 2021. And that is if they are truly implemented. Now, um, we, my concern actually is um, the growing nature of governance in this country. We will have about 3.76 trillion uh, naira for payment of salary. Uh, uh, recurrent expenditure has about 5.82 uh, 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 trillion, you know? And then um, it is worrisome because it shows how large the government is, how expensive it is to run the government, that is one. Then the next concern is the growing nature of the budget deficit is becoming a yearly ritual. And I was also going through the budget. It's going to be, it's going to be it's financed by debts and privatization. So that means it's also be increasing our debt profile as a country. Then another worry is that 2.9 trillion will only be used for debt servicing. And that is also a burden to me for a, a, a budget that um, has a deficit of 5.2 trillion and 2.9 trillion is just for servicing debts. You know, so those areas call for concern. And we, we, we need to see how we can ensure that um, we, we manage this budget and ensure that the sources of financing the deficits are truly followed through. Then another worry is actually the one I called um, the, 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 the tax regime, you know, the, the finance bill. It has to be, the, the finance bills have to be properly implemented so that the, the, the people will have the benefits of the, the, the intention of government. And I also saw the tax expenditure, you know. So those are the areas of concern because um, every decision of the government, every fiscal policies of the government have an impact on the well-being of the nation, of the people, and on the economy. All right, let, let's talk about the fact that we are in a recession. How will this play in the implementation of the 2021 budget? And do you see um, things in the 2021 budget that will help us get out of recession? Well, um, the 2021 budget in a recession uh, circumstance means that um, we have to tighten our belts, we have to be more disciplined, we have to, we have to uh, be more resilient to that, I mean, the policies. Yes, I, I, I see the benchmarks, and the benchmarks look a little bit um, realistic. Uh, $40, to, uh, $40 to a barrel is quite realistic in the reality of time. I see um, inflation as a projection to about 11.97, um, which is okay, which is which will be realistic in the circumstance we find ourselves. I also see um, uh, uh, 1.86 metric tons per, per day in terms of oil production. You see, what, what, what has actually happened is that there has been a, a, a down uh, income side on the oil income. We just expect about 2.2 trillion. 
But non-oil revenue has to, efforts have to be geared towards um, development, development of our minerals and our, our resources internally, look at agriculture, so that we we'll start uh, producing and become an um, exporting nation. But by, by and large, what will actually make us out of recession is most of the policies that CBN are going to be putting in place that will now bring us back to um, to, to norm. But um, for me, I think it's all about implementation and discipline. Budgetary discipline is what we really deserve and which will also cope with stages. Ah. So we're able to cope with stages. There's no point uh, having bloated budgets of uh, extra ministerial departments. There's no point um, spending money on what cannot actually have an economic impact. Rather than spend on consumptions, we should spend on productivity. All and right. that is what I, I This administration is winding down. This is their second um, lap and last lap, so to speak, for President Muhammad Buhari. Um, do you see that might affect implementation of the 2021 budget? Do you expect that they will be able to uh, finish up with this budget by the end of 2021 as against another spillover into 2022? Well, I, I know that uh, once um, election is approaching, uh, there's always a wind down in government activities. But I, I expect the government to use this year to rejig the economy, to use this year because they still have 2022 and, 2000 and, and part of 23. So 2021 is actually the year that the government should actually count on their uh, performances in terms of um, developmental, in terms of economy, in terms of all ramification of governance. So uh, it, it, government should not allow politics, particularly this year, to distract them from carrying out what they have set out to achieve. Otherwise, it will be to the detriment of the ruling party, it will also be the detriment of the Nigerians, particularly the fact that we're in recession. So this is the, the ample opportunity for the government to rewrite themselves in the minds of Nigeria. So uh, my advice is that um, they shouldn't allow politics to, to uh, hamper the, 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 the progressive nature of implementing this budget. That is my expectation, actually. But right. um, I, don't, I, I don't even know if that will be followed through. Um, time will tell. You know, implementation will tell. Focus of the government will tell. You know, and a whole loss. So that your, we'll your, 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 and the, the, the thread that has been running through your submission this morning has been concerns for me very loudly about implementation at the end of the day. So it might seem good on paper, but what we do with it in practicality, in practicality will uh, determine how well this government will be commended for you know, maintaining the January to December cycle. I must say thank you very much, Dr. Austin Anyogu, economist, for joining us um, on The Breakfast this morning. Uh, they, I, I know you would rather be in bed right now, so we're grateful for your time. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's for the, for the good of our nation. Yes, indeed, it is. Bless you. Have a pleasant holiday. And you too. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed, there are concerns about what 2021 will bring. But on a final note, I would just like to say that we should embrace it with optimism. Our president's speech this morning was that of hope that we will continue to thrive in spite of our diversity, our challenges. It's a brand new year. We have the opportunity to make of it what we can. Yes, we still have a pandemic on our hands. In spite of it, we must continue to thrive and find hope where there seem to be none and uh, continue to lead the lives, our best lives, so to speak. Um, in our quest to get wealth, I would like to throw this in as well as we begin this year, in our quest to grow ourselves, let's not diminish other people. Let's not um, squash other people's dreams. Let's encourage others to grow. Don't say because you have the power um, to do certain things, you won't do them because nobody will speak to you. Let's use our positions of authority to amplify the goodness that is in us as human beings in the new year. I want to thank you for staying with us on The Breakfast all the way since it started to this uh, day, the first day of January 2021. I'm hoping and wishing you a happy new year, happy celebrations, but don't forget, be safety conscious. 
My name is Felicity Ezerike. Thank you for being there.